Hello and welcome back to Storytime Gamer. We're going to continue playing Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We're going to go over here because I found on my my map this little exclamation point and it is one of the more interesting uh, little side quests. Last time I'd lend out anything, I'll swear it. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hurt. That is till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like twere his own. I was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must avoid me, cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I, and you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I sees he ain't listening, just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran, I'll give it back come morn. I was right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? Afore dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him and me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Let's see how we get in there. What? Oh. Hold on. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. Whoa, I didn't mean to make you mad, Mr. Nilfgaard. Just wanted to get the wolves. Now, now. Look, Nilfgaard, I don't want anything with you. Fine, look, if you're gonna fight me, then fight me. Uh... Let's see, I don't think any of these is gonna really do him any good. There, you messed with me, you get... You get... Witchered. What, you're still around? Really? Why are you still alive? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because I don't want any trouble, Nilfgaard. Ow, just leave me alone. Okay, this is just really weird now. Ow. Game's glitched. Okay. So weird. There we go. Maybe we just hide out here. He will leave us alone for good. Stench. Interesting. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing. That dude's still out there? Throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. 
But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. Oh my goodness, dude. There's the pan. Uh, the priceless frying pan. Hm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Found the pan, have you? Yep. Excuse me. Excuse me. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. Soot's just what the gentleman needed. He scraped it off, made ink out of it. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny. For the road. Well, thank you, Gran. Fry up a nice white fish for some. Roach. So, yeah, I like that quest, besides that little weird glitch we ran into, because, uh, it's kind of like, uh, a very basic quest to do. And yet, here we go, we're gonna, you know, just do it. Ooh, hello. Yes, I would like to fight some... Nope, nope, over here. Geralt? No, get off of him. <laughs> For some reason, he's trying to mount, uh, Roach again. So these are drowners. That one's running away. Come on, buddy. And they've got good loot on them. Freak. Well, fine, I won't help you again if you're about to die, dude. Ooh, hello. He had a key on him. And there's a chest here. Aha! Uh, Y'all can read that if you want. Alright, let's go... To where are we? We're gonna go all the way up here, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go there. Come on, Roach. Oh, don't yeah, don't get in the water, Roach. Come come on, Roach. Yep, those wolves, we're just going to skip right past them. A real vidi me. Quite for all this, we'll never believe it. Heard of the Vryhead Brigade? Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. 
guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Altai's Griffin is under Eptor. Loar and Eidfain. We must requisition the ship. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. <laughs> Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin. Its sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Esund Yakten. Thanks, dude. Alright, so we've got something to do. To progress to the next area, because Wide Orchard here is kind of like a uh, very small version of the rest of the game, as in here's the open world, here's how you get used to it. It's like uh, the tutorial level, as it were, of there's places to explore and things to do. Um, and that's how it's going to be like in the big, big open world, while you have a main quest and then you have other quests to do as well. Uh, like the side quests. I think that gives me, uh, yeah, fast travel. So we can fast travel to certain locations. So we've got, uh, talk to this person here and talk to that person there and we can start fast traveling to other locations. There's an abandoned village, which I think we drove, rode through that at the beginning of the game. I do want to get over here, though, at some point. Uh, we'll start working our way around. Let's let's uh, fast travel down here. Oh, wow, that was fast. Usually there's a loading screen. <laughs> um, just bear with me a moment. I'm going to turn my 
uh, map back on. I was trying to see how well I could do without it, but, um... Let's see. Where is it? I keep that up. And we want to keep... It's too small. Yeah, that'll work. Well, I don't know what's happening with those goose there, but geez, that was a little scary. We'll get Roach in here in a second. We're gonna just walk through the village. Oh, there's some. Is there more posts here? There we go. I think that might have opened up a few more uh, things for us to look at. Let's see. Uh, default general quests exploration. Let's see. Is there all okay? There we go. So yeah, now we. Ha I was like, why are there so little question marks? So each question mark has got something for me to do, or find, or explore. So it's a lot, but you could do a lot of cool things. Um, and I'll probably do some off-screen uh, through this playthrough, because it's kind of, you know, you want to concentrate on the main story. But, you know, if there's like a little side quest, like with the lady with the pan, then we will, you know, I'll totally record that, because I love the stories in this game, the side quests. Wow, look at that, it's so beautiful. So we'll talk to this herbalist. Um, I want to just check my alchemy for a second. Because I did a new game plus, so I didn't have to... No. So I didn't have to do a bunch of... Um, digging around to get certain uh, potions and oils. Let's see. I should have some... Mm, let's see. Do, do, do. Full moon. I think I have... I thought I had some... Oh, it's already over here. Yeah, Enhanced Swallow, because that's the important stuff. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trail's fresh. His love just left home. Alright, so we're gonna find the hunter. See where he's at. And also, while I've got a moment, uh... Let's see about changing out my food. Let's see, we've got... Let's see, vitality is 10 regen. That's 10. That's 10. That's 10. Apple juice is five. And how much is the dumpling? That's ten. And that'll last for twenty minutes, so... I think we'll be fine with just eating those dumplings. We haven't got a lot of those. So I like to get buy food and fruit and stuff. So all I have to do is just press, uh... the quick action of eating something. Uh-oh. You, Ms. Love. And we've got constant regen. Hear that? No, wild dogs. Yes, more dangerous than wolves. Uh-oh. I'm hunting bigger game. Enough guardians the griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Why not? Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. And it wouldn't Come be on. my silver blades, it'd be my steel. This dog's been a problem for a while now. Since the war started, soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog... A kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts. Too late. Attacked another one. Oh, my God. 
I do like the new camera. Get some dog tallow. See, what's interesting is uh, if I were to use the wrong sword, it wouldn't hurt them and it would actually damage my blade faster. Because you do have to repair stuff. Armor and blades. Dieter. You know him. We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's Hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So... Can you show me where you found the Nilf Guardians? Ooh, I get to get Griffin. No one sweet. Oh, not much. It's not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me. I'm excited I get to get achievements again because this counts as a PlayStation 5 version. Huzzah! It's like playing it again for the first time. Even though this is my fourth playthrough. Oh, it's such a good game. Hello. Twas here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. A camp. Mm hmm. You have to keep finding little clues here or there. Looks like there's beasts up there. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf Guardians, probably. All right, so we have to tr follow this trail. See what's going on. See why the Nilf Guardians were attacked and why this griffin has come and attacked the rest of the village. Oh, come on, we can get up here. Oh, right over there, and there's like some... Looks like some bees. Griffin's nest. What remains of it, at least. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Oh Took no. a long time dying. Look. This is why it's so angry. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft. Dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. So it looks like uh, the Nilf Guardians did some very bad things to the uh, pregnant female griffin. That's horrifying and that's horrible. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching Storytime Gamer. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you.